Good morning, everybody. My name is Apollo, and welcome back to Death and Taxes. So, as I said, we're gonna just pick it up exactly where we left off. We're on day four, so we can probably get to, like, day seven, so. The Glow Banks is in trouble in st Stimulus Halted. The Globe, Developing Countries Improve Sanitation. Oh, here we go. Municipal Gardener found dead in their own home. Cause of death unclear. Probably the natural poisons. All survived in a plane crash. Consensuality? Is it some new form of dark magic? Oh, that's horrible. I hate that. Have you looked outside today? It rains. It's been raining for hours. Approximately to... Appropriately to accompany the dimness within me. Well, there's some new rules. Mock three humans with a mock of death. Another day, another death. Fates. Okay. I want to move that over there. All right, this guy first. Gang member. Mint comes from an abusive family, which ultimately makes them very protective of their older sister. Mint will do anything to keep her safe. As such, they have allied with the toughest crime boss in the district. One who will take care of their own. Death. Uh, retired, loves bird watching in nature, wrote six books about birds, lives with his wife in the city, is still in good shape, and goes to dance class twice a year. 73. Maybe, because of the age. Laney. Laney? Liney? Laney. Halls from a small village on the coast where they spend their entire years studying ichthyology. It later in inspires them to turn their attention towards global matters to the manipulous interaction networks that made up our planet. Live, because you can probably do good. Seamus lost his... Yeah, Seamus lost their parents at age three and was raised to be an odd foster family at the isolated village. These days, they're on a mission to find the legendary skull of death, an artifact that supposedly gives one the power to live forever. I mean, that's pretty doubtful. Death. Etsy is a professional project advisor, also known as a consultant. They get paid inner interordinate amount of money for consultants. Which of the which are those which are these vague events where they tell companies to do things when not working? When not working, they love tea, cross stretching and smashing the peg. Oh, I'll kill you. I only need to kill three. Guess what? You get to live for a little bit longer. Everybody else gets to die. You get to live. You get to live. You die. You die. And you die. Three, right? Yeah. Heck yeah! I only killed that one guy who was a gang member because straight up he was a gang member. Grim, there you are. Let's be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. I'm beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I do not expect you to turn out to be such a great and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You might even be promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Anyway, I'm quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Until tomorrow, Fate. Because you choose everything, because I guess fate chooses life. Mark two with the marker of death. Okay. The globe! Hostile language hostile languages fading in politics. Health organizations warm of superflu. New death strike at climate summit. Tech bros, companies in mourning, incredible consultant was so close to figuring out a completely new consulting level that their head exploded. Um, tomorrow science. There may be hope for us, yet science is on the verge of breakthrough. The local thug stabbed in a gang-related incident. Search for the legendary skull takes tragic turn. Archaeologists seemingly assassinated. Local swamp reports inhabitants of a green monster. Okay. Okay, so two people gotta die. Alright. Um, Vivian. Vivian works with children with learning disabilities and helps them learn musical instruments. They're also singing in a choir at home. Vivian takes care of their four wonderful cats. I'll let you live. Vat Vatimars has been terrible at everything. Their central artistic and performance thesis. They're... Though this act of self referent rebellion, they have actually grown very popular in order to with the current climate. Maybe. 
Ronald has been working as a firefighter since their late teens, pledged to give their life to protect the people of Cos Cosmopolis City. It's remarkable in remarkable physical shape. They have been organized athletic events for co companies all over this communities all over the country and raise awareness for fire safety. Live for years, Chippo, Chippo, yep, Chippo, has been interested in the effects different diets have on people. Lately, they have been working with the best of the best of natural athletes, helping to improve the competitive platform. Eh, maybe. Mike. Sigmund, Sigmund, lives lives together with their artist girlfriend. They like craft beer and biking. Sigma Spruce was voted best local craft brew of the year twice. I'm only going to kill you two together because for some reason I think you guys might be dating. Which is a horrible thing for me to do. Like, ah, I think you two might be dating. Eh, let's just kill you. Let's kill you bull. Oh, that was a horrible thing. I feel bad now. I I feel really bad. What a good day. What a day, Grim. What a day. Now, let us go over your conduct first. Good. I have the correct amount of marked profiles. Everything seems to be in order. Ah! I need to move my chair. Ah! Everything seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, you have been here for a number of days now. I wanted to ask, how did it feel to make such difficult choices? I did not like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Meh, it's a job like any other. To be honest, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. I just feel awful about every choice. Eh, it's kind of, I mean, even just that last one, it literally was, I think they might be dating, so let's kill them both. Is that the... It is, though. I can almost imagine what a normal, basic, dreadful, everyday job would feel like. But consider the humans in this context. Do you think this is an appropriate way to deal with them? I'm not really sure. Yeah, absolutely. Not really. Is there another way? I'm not really sure. Like, yeah, this kind of feels kind of crappy because, like, they're not affecting if they do, like, they die. Like, I mean, they, they're affecting their lives and the fact that I literally look at them and I'm like, what are you doing? What have you done with your life? Where are you in your age? And like, are you still contributing? That's how I'm honestly looking at it. But it's because fate is giving me these guidelines. Like, you know, if he didn't give me these guidelines, like there was that one where I was like somebody with an engineering background, like why? But all right, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Ah, uh, perhaps too difficult to question for you. After all, you've not been here very long. All right. Do you not think it's unethical to make the choices you make? All this control over humans, so many lives, unbehaps to the humans themselves. To be honest, you make make me do these choices. You hand out the rules. I can't carry too much. I can't worry too much. If this is what it needs to be done, I'm not happy with the situation. No. Um, you hand out the rules. True enough. One day you'll be in charge. One must, oh, true enough, one must be in charge. The others will follow. I was like, I get to be in charge? Our office is pre, pre nebial and highly venerated. We have special eons crafted our methods and strategies. We get what, we get what we are doing, yes? No. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time, but before you go, are there any questions you'd like from me? I haven't seen any young profiles, why is that? What's the, ba what's the basis for the profile anyway? Is there a point system? Yeah, that's what I was saying, like, is there actually p ways people affect their lives? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. So they can't actually affect anything. Uh, you don't sound too sure about that. Yeah, you don't sound that sure about that. Mm, I am, quite so. So it's all predetermined. What about free will, then? That's a bit grim. Yeah, that's more of a bit of a grim. You would know. <laughs> Come now. Do not worry about it. It's all in good order. It's all in good... It's all in order. Only a bit over your pay grade. Anything else? Um, I haven't seen any young profiles. Ah, children. Yes, they are special cases. Something for a different set of departments to do with. You will not find any yourself. 
Interesting. Are there many other office appointments? Okay, good to know. Um, are there any other offices? Countless. How many Reapers are there? Are they all Reapers working in them? How many Reapers out are there? Infinite. Wow. Exactly. Uh, what about animals? Yeah. What about animals? Do they get apartment? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. There is no escape. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. Anything else? What about the unliving things? Buildings? Stuff? Technically, uh, kind of, I guess. Ruins are like a type of, uh, dead, but at the same time, they often feel alive. Oh, this topic is a bit too abstract for now. We might have to return to it on a later date. Oh no, my mouse pad's ripping. Anything else? That's all I can think of. I want to get back to work. That's all I can think of. Right, it has been enlightening. I bid you good night. See you tomorrow. Alright. Hey, I got an achievement. Morbid curiosity. Do your job. Alright. Mark is level 6. Um, the Globe Support Center is open in masses. Doctors worry for superbug resistance. A new modern painting exhibit, pictures of melancholy. Respectful nutritionists caught distributing illegal performance enhancers to athletes in their care. Charity event organized by local firefighters, enjoyed by parents and children alike. Writer's block ends more lives than you'd imagine. So I should have killed the guy who was actually straight up, he was probably giving steroids to the people. So mark a total of six, mark three young and spare humans with a medical background. Mark a total of six? There's only eight. Victor graduated top of their class and made a fast climb on the career ladder, becoming the chief social inspector at a local nuclear power plant. They have already spotted several mistakes, possibly preventing many accidents. You should live. Unemployed. Michael's a lover of pizza. I'm sorry, I have so many to kill. You just need to die. Scam artist. A liar. It's dead. Uh, Phillips is a very random guy, meaning they enjoy chaotic and odd behaviors. For example, they love playing pranks on their friends and conducting off escape rituals. They also have personal catchphrases of stay out of harm's way, and they are fond of animal skulls. Dead. Student. From young age, Julia has dreamt of conquering the world in order to make it a better place for animals. Alas, so far they have only reached basic animal rights, rack rights activism. They also read horoscopes to people in queues. Maybe. Don't like how you read to people in queues. Per... Parvia, an avid reader and student of art history, comes from a rough background. They grew up in a very poor neighborhood, yet the local community pulled their merge funds to help Parvia's ascent. Oh, I feel bad about killing you. Kermit is a warm, kind-hearted per personality and does their best to keep troubled youth and marginalized people. They are co community activists and run a private practice for kind of kind of give behavioral therapy when they aren't dealing with their grandkids. I feel bad. Jonas leads an amphibious life of moral intrigity. They have it figured out. In their prime, they enjoy the fruits of well-established position. When not engaged in upholding, they dabble in the vineyard, which causes an elaborate joke related to their name. Dead. Okay, what does that put me on? One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, I just, I want, I want her to, like, go on because, like, she comes from a horrible background and, like, the entire neighborhood was, like, this, this person is gonna make something of themselves in the future and, like, I truly want to believe in that. You still have unmarked profiles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I hate you, fate. Oh, I feel bad. 
Ah, grim. A rough day lies beyond you. I assume new recruits often falter during such dark times. Yeah, it sucked. Yet, you seem to have performed adequately. Everything is in order. How do you feel after such a day? Fine, I understand what needs to be done. There are many profiles and rules, but I managed to make it worth it. Bad. I did what I had to, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. Exactly. We are on the same page, you and I. We do what it, what it is necessary, even if it means us feel ill. Let us hope the harsh days do not resume. What do you think ever happened? What do you think ever even happened? Maybe it was an industrial accident of some court. It felt toxic. Beats me a day like this. Don't really care. Death is death. You know, it was bad. That's what matters. Don't you Don't you know what happened? You are in charge after all. Yeah, you are fake. <coughs> yes, yes, I am. And yes, I do. But what use is the reaper who cannot discern the situation from the choices in front of them? Your answer would intrigue me, yes? Um... I guess... I know it was bad, but this is what matters. It is certainly not good. No, no. It is as bad as it's ever been. Mm -hmm. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Day 7. Last day. Okay. Mark two humans with the marker of death. Spare humans might be helpful against the cause. Okay, so two people gotta die. Alright. The globe! Crime rates at a new peak. Respected judge gunned down during a... Hostage crisis at a local courthouse. Local youth center mourns loss of mentor after tragic stabbing accident. A critical look. Something new and fresh may brewing in the arts. Low cost dorms under investigation as student dies of hypothermia. Black magic is a danger to the youth. Popular politics dies of heart attack. More victims found. Toxic spill claims life another homeless person. I'm gonna stop reading that. I don't like it. <laughs> Mark two humans for death. Okay. Mavis is a grandparent with an estranged grandchild named Guy, with whom they seek reconciliation. After retired, they move to a calm country home where they spend most of the time knitting. They own a marvelous collection of porcelain. Baby, I only do it because you're old. Okay, David is a. F Founder of Trans Global Inc., a company that produces high tech gadgets like smart watches and digital home assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost potient of algorithms and artificial intelligence research. You probably would help everything. Driver. Alicia is an abs Alicia is an absolute speed demon. They cruise at utter ridiculous speeds all around Kismo City, delivering miscellaneous packages to various people and companies. With their stoic de demeanor and calm nerves, they have an excellent rally. They would be an excellent rally driver. Um, bicycle repairman repairs bicycles in Poulter's life. They own a bike shop, designing custom bikes and pumping out old rides, experimenting brake magnifications and neon light installations at Potter's Specialty. Okay, you're gonna die because of your age. I know for a fact you're gonna live. Uh, you'll die and you'll live, even though you are gonna kill someone. I'm gonna see it. It's gonna come up in my phone tomorrow that you killed someone in a car accident, but you're gonna live. Hello, Grim. It is time for your ultimate performance review of the trial period. Let me get my papers. First off, let's see the possible good you might have managed to create in the world. Grim, do you know what the opposite of an economic recession is? Let me tell you. An economic boom happening right now, to be frank. This is quite helpful. Yes, I might be able to make some rearrangements. And to think I had my doubts about modern capitalism. We will see. Hmm. Huh. Unexpected. Hmm. Yes. What is it? Yeah. Patience, Grim. I am contemplating your continued existence. What well, appears that you have indeed kept the chaos away. For now. You performed adequately. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. I'm not the one holding the marker, nor will I ever. Well, fuck you, okay? It sucks. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. This is hard, does it get easier? More rules, piece of cake. I like ice cream. This is hard. Does it get easier? Silly Grim. 
This is called an evaluation period for a reason. There will only be more severe. You will keep working for me since your trial has been successful. You may have a bright eternity ahead of you. That is all. Goodbye for now, Grim. Ah. Uh, I did like the demo. No, I'm sorry. And yes, I will skip back to real life. Ah, no. Crashed the game. It didn't crash the game. Everything's still okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that game. Honestly, I did. It brought up many different, like, ideas and premises that, like, stuff to think about that really did change a lot of, like, the way that you would believe that, like, it would have been had you were the one who had to decide who lived and who died given like these really weird chaotic like random chance things it was giving you an actual time to really look at it and figure out if you believe you're doing the right thing and i really did enjoy that i really want to play this game again so i can't wait for it when it actually comes out because like then that will be like a really fun game just to play again so if you guys really liked it leave a like comment tell me like below like did you guys really enjoy this or is there some other things that you want to play and subscribe to see if i come back to this when it actually gets out like hopefully i'll remember that it's out and you know subscribe for all other games that i play but as always i hope you have a great rest of your day bye